guys, it's Mephigitty here, and I'm going to do a vlog. It's not going to be like a, well, old and an ordinary vlog. Sorry, my back is itchy, and I need to sketch it. Um, I'm going to be doing a vlog where I'm telling you about something. So it's a bit of a blog, vlog. Then at the end of it, it's going to be more of a vlog. So the first thing is, I'm getting a new Webkin signature. Uh, I have the fan crew. Webkin signature marble cat. And I'm having trouble naming it, so I'm going to read you guys some names. But first, I'm going to tell you about my previous signatures. I have two signatures, a King Charles Cocker Spaniel and a Border Terrier. And I'm going to tell you about the Border Terrier most. Because there's nothing really important I want to tell you about my King Charles Cocker Spaniel. So, I got my Border Terrier around when we were studying the bordering states. Weird, huh? And I used her as a good luck charm. Because she's a border terrier and we're studying the bordering states. Her names are very similar, so I thought maybe I can use her as a little good, good luck charm. So when the test came, I remembered, oh my god, I forgot to bring her to school. Because that's, that's what I've been doing, uh, using her as a good luck charm. But I did not lose her at school, just so you guys know. Because at the end of this, you'll find out... Something tragedy that has happened, and yeah. So let's get back on to the point. When a test came, I did really good on a test, even though I didn't have her with me. Which, I was still happy. I like, yay, I passed. Which I always do pass my tests, so yeah. Not to be a bragger or anything, but I'm back to the point. But uh, at least like a week after the test, she disappeared. Literally. Poof. So, and I looked everywhere for her, and she's still not found. It has been a year, a year since, and I was in fourth grade. I am now in fifth grade. Still not found. And I'm hoping we study the bordering states. If we don't, she might be gone forever. <laughs> Mostly because if we do study burning states in fifth grade then when she comes back i'm locking her in a cage so she never disappears again and yeah so that's basically it for the signatures now on to um the other new the um other thing about the naming so i'm going to quickly read you some names and I'll tell you what to do with them in the comments when I finish reading the names. I'll be back in a second because I'm going to get the paper of all the names. Okay, I'm back with the list of notes. There's only seven names. That's because I couldn't think of many. There's four names that start with an M and then the three other start with a B. <laughs> I'm not really good at making names. I think with the M's, I thought since she's a marble cat, why don't start her name with... And, um, so this is the first one. I was looking up names on the computer, and I saw Marshmallow. I was like, oh, that's a cute name, Marshmallow, Marshmallow. And all of a sudden, it popped up, Marcy. Why don't you name her Marcy? It said Marshmallow. So Marcy's the first name it came up. Marble. She's a marble cat. Meeble, Maggie, Bubbles, Belle, and Butterscotch. <laughs> is the rest of the names. Meebles, I just, Meeble just came up with it. <laughs> and then Maggie, I thought it was like a cool name or something. But then I was thinking, after that, I was like, hmm, maybe I should start with a different letter than M. Because then all of her names will start with M. So now they're just M and B. So I was like, hmm, how about Bubbles? I was like, eh, I know I probably won't use the name, but who knows? And then I was thinking, ooh, Belle's a cute name. And my, I, my mom has had a cat named Buttercup. She, I don't know if she's still alive or what, because she gave it to somebody else. But um, it was when I was a baby, so yeah. So I fought Butterscotch, and now I'm like, ooh, that's a cute name. And I was like, I'm not sure if I should do Marcy anymore for it. So, those are the two I can't decide on. Should I name her Marcy, or should I name her Butterscotch? I don't know. 
so yeah, I'm gonna quickly tell you how you can do this. It's like a name con naming contest. Naming, not really a naming contest. So yeah. So basically, um, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna go to the comment sec comment section. I hopefully remember to put um comment saying, should I name her Marcy? Should I name her Mabel? Mabel, whatever. Yeah. Marble, blah, whatever. I don't care what I'm saying anymore. But, um, you know what I mean. Or I'll just say, um, like a comment saying, what should I name her? And comment on that saying, Marcy. And then come off of that. Marble, come off of that. Mabel, come off of that. And so on and so on. So you can, um, like whatever name you like like whatever your name is like whatever name I put if I if you like one of my names I put bleh. or you can make your own name and I'll also look for the comments because sometimes there's really good names in there that um and some people think that um that um not everybody looks through all of their comments because they have like t two million comments or something but um, I have a small cha channel with 14 subscribers so far. This video is maybe when I have 14 subscribers, so I have more when this comes up. Don't yell at me for it. But, anyway. Um, I have 14 subscribers. So, I'm not going to get much comments. And I also have people at, people at school in my class that know I, that I have told I have a YouTube channel. One has subscribed to it. And they can also, if my friends at school say, see it, um, you guys, you can tell me, um, and what name you like, or just the name, you can write it down, give me a note, whatever, but, um, anyway, moving on, here's the fun news, Friday, which is tomorrow, hopefully, <laughs> if this video, if I'm not lazy, you upload her and upload this tomorrow, but anyway, I am going to be, we have electronics day. I'm bringing my tablet, which is what I use to record on. So, I'm going to be recording at my class. So, you guys that are not in my class can see my class. And you guys, and then my classmates, you get to be on YouTube. How awesome is that? If you don't have a YouTube channel, you can still be on YouTube. So... Yeah, that's basically it for this blog. So I really, so I really, really hope that you guys name her because in my last naming contest, I randomly have them close to me with my little pet shops. You guys didn't comment on it, so um. The naming contest, I will say it will end um, by the time I find a good name or when she comes, which I don't know when she comes because we have not ordering it. This is if we get her. So if we don't get her, I'll make another vlog telling that I didn't get her. So, uh, um, yeah. So please check out my, all my other videos, and please comment on my videos telling me. I really like seeing comments. It's, to me, since I'm not really a big YouTube channel, seeing comments means a lot to me. It's a, It seems that people actually want to write stuff on my videos, want to say something on my videos, and it really makes me happy. And also subscribers. The more subscribers I get, I get the happier I am. And I also pay attention to viewers. Many of you YouTubers don't pay attention to viewers because they think it's nothing. But viewers, there's around where it says subscribe, it says so and so viewers, which is how many people viewed your videos, which is actually pretty cool because you could see how many people watched my video 
Because that can be how many people that don't have YouTube accounts, but they still want to watch your videos, which I think is pr pretty cool. So please comment and so, like and subscribe. I really would like it if you guys comment just a tiny bit more on my videos. And maybe if I got a little bit more subscribers. I'm not saying that these subscribers are enough. Because I'm getting subscribers with me not thinking about it. Because one time I told my friend maybe I have like 12 or 13. Like 12 or 10 subscribers. He, at school, he comes in saying, oh, you have 13. I was like, what? Because I did not know. And then the last time I got nine subscribers, I broke a vase. But let's not get into that discussion. <laughs> okay, that's not funny anymore. But anyway, if you like me, I really like it to see you guys um, stay stuff in my videos. It, I like you guys interacting with me. And sometimes I will comment back to your videos. Not always. I can't promise that. But if you do, it would be a great thing. So p please comment, write, and subscribe. And bye. I r and well, uh, so with that bye, it's also a big thanks to everybody. And just bye.